This is Dr. Harry Anderson. I'd like to visit with you a little bit about hay. I get so many questions about alfalfa versus grass hay, some grass hay versus this grass hay or that grass hay, and there are all kinds of different grass types hays out there. And um, uh, I have strong feelings about how these line up. First of all, in general, alfalfa versus overall grass hay, uh, if you kind of lump them together, in my opinion, alfalfa is the king. Alfalfa is almost always superior to whatever grass hay you're talking about, as long as it's good quality. Now, alfalfa hay has, I think, gotten a bad rap because a lot of people associate high protein with nervous horses, high protein with high-headed horses. Uh, I've heard talk about alfalfa causing liver problems, causing kidney problems, and all kinds of different things. In my experience, I, I'm really not sure where that comes from, because I've not had that experience feeding alfalfa hay. I have a lot of clients that feed nothing but good quality alfalfa hay and a high protein supplement along with it. So protein in itself is not a negative. If they have too much protein from the alfalfa, they burn it as energy. So you say, well, that's a waste of efficiency. Not really. They use it at the same efficiency as they would the, the starch or fiber in, in that alfalfa. But let's talk a little bit about the nutrient profiles. Nutrient profiles, you're going to find a much higher calcium level and a higher phosphorus level in alfalfa than you are in most any kind of grass hay, except some of the really young, tender uh, grass hay. And if you want to look at the grass hay, uh, Timothy would come the closest, probably, if cut properly, would come the closest to alfalfa and nutrient composition. And then you have orchard grass would, would come in there fairly close to that, broom grass. Uh, there are several that, that are kind of in that, that secondary mix. But the bottom line is alfalfa is going to be more predictable in its digestibility. Grass hay is going to be less predictable. Grass hay is going to vary a lot more in its overall uh, profile of protein and phosphorus and fiber. Protein and, and uh, phosphorus are very critical. You get a lot of those from your hay. In fact, you, you get most of that from your hay. Protein can vary in grass hay from 15 or 16 percent down to 5 or 6 percent. And I find this all the time where people have problems with their horses. They're not doing well, especially they call me and say, your program isn't working anymore. I, what did you change in your program? I said, I didn't change anything. What did you change in your hay? Well, I'm buying the hay from the same guy I did last year. That really doesn't mean a whole lot. Because if you change the harvest date of typical grass for maybe it's a weather condition, you can't get it harvested on time or something, and you, you go a week or two weeks later than normal, you can drop the protein from 12 or 14% down to 5 or 6% real easy. And I find this happens. So if you're going to use a predictable source of hay, alfalfa is going to be the best. If you have the known uh, harvesting and you do a, an assay on grass hay, I think grass hay is just fine. But I strongly encourage you to get your hay analyzed and have it known what's in it before you make a decision on how to supplement it. And grass hay is much more critical than that. Please uh, go to a lab, get, get a good assay, then work with a nutritionist or some professional and figure out what you need to go along with that grass hay. And if you may need to increase the digestibility of it by using some digestibility enhancing program, products in your program. So don't just buy hay based on someone else's word. Do your own assay and then make your own decisions. And if you have any questions about that, you can go to my website, totalfeeds.com, and there's a place on there where you can uh, get your feed uh, assayed, and they will get the results to me, and I will let you know what I think of it.